Hey, I'm Bob. I've been totally blind since birth and I'm into Star Wars. We're going to be taking a look at an action figure from the Legacy Collection today. This guy is no longer canon. He was in Star Wars Legends. And we've seen this enormous Jedi Master in comic books, the Jedi Council, Acts of War. We saw him in the Gendi Tartakovsky micro series. This is Jedi Master Kruk, or maybe you want to pronounce his name Kruk. I have no idea. However you slice it, this guy is a male Whippid. I first heard of the Whippid species when listening to the audio adaptation of We Don't Do Weddings, The Band's Tale. That can be found in the Star Wars anthology Tales from the Mos Eisley Cantina. And when I found out one of these guys was a Jedi Master, a pacifistic Jedi Master, I immediately did all the research I could way back in the day and instantly got to like this guy and hasbro i like the way they made this guy such a bulky figure because whippets are very large aliens and uh, of course he has a lightsaber too i think i read a while back that uh, after thinking he killed this guy general grievous added his lightsaber to uh, to his collection so I'm wondering if this is one of the sabers that we get with our, our General Grievous action figures or have gotten with Grievous over the years. And Crook, he, uh, he's also in media that takes place after the Gendi Tartakovsky micro series. We see him in the Legacy comics. They take place several years after Han, Luke, and Leia. All of the uh, the original trilogy characters have passed away. This guy, he is a survivor. I mean, he he lives for a heck of a long time in uh, in Star Wars Legends. So, Crook may not be canon, but uh, what an action figure this guy turned out to be. I think I might have ordered him online when he came out. I don't know if I found him at Toys R Us or if I managed to order him online. But this guy's just... I love his design. He's got that really cool looking braided beard going down his down his front. And of course he has a cloth robe so you can bring the hood up just a little bit. I don't know if it sits on his head that well. It kind of comes up some. I think he came out of the package with his with his hood up. I'm not sure though. Yeah, you can can bring it up a little bit his face is just a little too large to sit in the in the hood properly but you don't have to have it up just fold it back if you want so yeah i guess this will do for jedi master crook really interesting action figure one of my favorite uh, star wars aliens i think always love the whippets I'll hear you guys in the next Star Wars related video. Have a great day and may the force be with you.